Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and today we are looking at the first ever kids area that I've made in Planet Coaster. So I'm really excited to see what you guys think. And I guess this area could be kind of considered, you know, more of a family oriented area, but it's not maybe a whole defined space. And so before we go look at that, you know, we're just kind of getting an overview here of the park. As you can see, the coaster dune in the background is gone. And that's because I have started to free up space for the extra counter as well as heat wave is gone. And so there is the I've, I finished up fencing up going around the lake and um, just from a piece count standpoint, didn't want to do anything too crazy. Not a huge fan of necessarily just using that fencing, but I think it works. Um, you know, Jasmine mentioned after the fact that maybe I should have had a ride or something kind of go over the lake a little bit. Um, you know, I guess I could have ultimately had that dive coaster go over the lake for one of those splashdowns. But yeah, so without further ado, let's look at the kids area. So as we can kind of see an overview here, this is the final um i guess what i created for the kids area and i still need to put up a sign but this i want to say right away um i was honestly too lazy and i want you guys to see that in the background with the wooden coaster um but i was too lazy to kind of create my own <laughs> jungle gym playset set areas i had a couple people reference to me that you know some, something would be perfect in this space and so these benches right here i got from web gaming um, what he created was just a little bit too large for the space. So the majority of this stuff is from NH99's build in his Frontierland Park. And so I'll put up a sign um, giving giving him credit. And this right here is also by Web Gaming that I took from his. So um, if you need some really good jungle gems and stuff, make sure to go download both of theirs because those are the two best that I've seen on the PlayStation console. But really, really nice. And so let's go over here to the entrance. So there are technically four or five different ways that you can kind of enter this kid zone area. And so if we go down here, I decided to kind of create this fencing all the way around because I wanted it to kind of be sectioned off and blocked off. And in a lot of theme parks, the kid zones kind of seem to be on the outer edges to where you just kind of have basic fencing around the out, outskirts of it. But that's not the case here. And so I absolutely love this coaster um, and how it turned out. And so I kind of went with the turquoise and I've got a little bit of red just to kind of have a different color in here. So I kind of ended up using those two colors and then using the cement pieces as um, a curb. But yeah, so if you look at here at the right, we've got this SLC that I based... Not the, it's not the exact layout, but I based it off of Flying Aerial Ace at Kings Island. And so i um, really excited with how this turned out. So we'll do a POV of it at the end. And I'm calling it Soaring. I might change the name, but I wanted to keep something simple that can fit on that sign. Um, but as you see right here, I had to custom support a couple areas. And so I made that kind of custom support in the middle, which I absolutely love how that turned out. You know, maybe it's not perfect, but really happy with that. And I kind of went with the, I was trying to figure out what colors to go with. And for me, I kind of choose a color and sometimes run with it almost too much. Um, but yeah, it kind of slows down there, but that's how, how the one is at Kings Island. Um, and I saw the turquoise and I just kind of ran with it. So yeah, we'll go up the queue in a second. So on this other side, we've got one of these, these kitty rides, and I guess I need to turn it on. And then I decided that um, I was trying to figure out what to do with this space, and I created a little vending machine area, um, which I really do love how this part of it turned out, you know, just using a rectangular, um, this, uh, the rectangle pieces for the, for the roof. So I love that. And then... Now, I did just copy these signs over. I don't know if I'm going to keep all these. Obviously, that's not called Torpedo. Those aren't. That was the name of the Boomerang Coaster, if you guys remember. Um, but, yeah, if you just look at the queue, nothing nothing too crazy. Just some trees in here. Um, and then same thing here with the Dodgems. 
And I've really kind of started liking to using these um, beech trees recently just because they're very colorful. Um, so I kind of need to probably need to use them a little bit more. And so let's continue in the kids space and kids area. And if we go to the left, we have a little food court area. Um, I probably need to add, or probably should add, some kind of decoration here. Um, but I got the idea for this from one of Nerd Chacho's builds on um, Chacho Landia. And it's not that I use the exact same thing, but the idea of kind of using your rectangular pieces for kind of the base. And um, all of these pieces right here are rectangular pieces. Um, and I realized after the fact that if I wanted these to be skinnier, I could have just used some scaffolding pieces. And then this is one thing I've seen Nerd Chacho do a lot, is having these fencing pieces, because it kind of creates this look of, at the end of the day, you can just kind of pull down the, the door to kind of block off and um, have everything kind of secure. And then around this side, we have... Um, restrooms and then here's a staff door and here's what I love about this I was trying to figure out okay how can I make a staff door using this fence these fences are wide enough to where you can just use the bull uh, the bull bar and it looks like it's just some heavy-duty door handles right and then I just use the scaffolding post um, to kind of and I know that's not perfect but to section it off to where it looks like it's in the middle so as you can kind of see, that's what this space looks like from above. So happy with how that turned out. Oh, and I saw another thing too is using these. Another trick I learned from Nerd Chacho this week is using these window sills are really good for kind of sectioning off a little space. Um, because as you can see, kind of underneath, you know, I don't want to have that kind of unsightly bit right there. So just using that windowsill kind of blocks it off and makes it look like a natural um, kind of border. So if you come back out this way, you know, just a little backstage spot. Um, and the cool thing is if you're down here at guest level, you really can't see too much. You might be able to see just a little bit, but you can't see, can't really see much at all. And then so I had this door again here. And I did put two staff rooms back here so the staff will walk back there. So as you can see, there's the path, a little bit darker colored. And I did I need to put a couple plants here in the front, but I made this restroom and can't remember where I got the idea for this build from. But um looks good at night because or at least on the interior portion. So I added some of those lights and made them kind of dull in term or made them more of a dull white. But for the bathroom doors, I decided to, instead of seeing the open bathroom, just use these doors, um, the Spook Central doors. And yeah, really happy with how this turned out. I wanted to use gray. I know gray is not a very colorful color, but I wanted it to kind of tie into this space over here. Um, and I used a lot of grays over here. So I made sure I used the same gray, but it is different building material, so it's just a little bit different. Um... I might actually carry, now that I think about this, I might actually carry this around on the base. But yeah, happy with how this turned out. Um, need to put just some more plants and stuff kind of in this spot, in this space. But really happy, and I mean, that really is a good look of that wooden coaster when you're walking this way. You're going to see this Intamin Megalite type coaster here, and then you're going to see the GCI wooden coaster in the background. I mean, really cool look in my opinion. And, yeah, I've spent a lot of time this week working on this, um, just trying to really get this area well done, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And so here we've got a flat ride, so we'll take a ride on that, because I've yet to make one of these in the game. And if we, there's a kind of a pass-through to get there, and these are, once again, the Spook Central. Um, oh, yeah, I've started using these some. These are... I didn't, honestly didn't even realize we had these. These ash trees are kind of good as like little plants if I can ever get a good look at them. So those really work as well for, yeah. And so, so this kind of borders right here, right? And 
nice little spot where you can eat. And I've got a Cosmic Cow and ice cream place. Well, I guess Cosmic Cow is milkshakes and ice cream. But apps, I, I honestly, I love how this turned out. This might be one of my favorite buildings I've made in the game. Um, I know it's very pink, but that's obviously this style of the ice cream and milkshake. And so I absolutely love it using the beam, some of the the posts there. Um, I'm just not good at building buildings at this point, so I feel like i got to watch what other creators do and kind of kind of use that as an idea. And so I got this from the idea of this from the kids' area in Chachalandia. Um, once again, not exact, but just kind of use that as kind of a idea to kind of build off of. And, of course, I've got a little space here in the back where there's a door for the um, employees to get. And, you know, I use Maddie's trick there for the the um, air coming out of the system. And so we got a little backstage area here. I guess I probably wouldn't need this if we've got this one. So I might change that to be something different. Or just, you know... Just get rid of it totally but yeah so absolutely love how that turns out i mean look at this even from here you can get a little glimpse of that wooden coaster gosh that looks awesome um yeah and so let's look around this way real quick before we go to the flat ride so you got the whirly rig i wish you could have play a different song other than that pirate song but you can't have a kid's area without a whirly rig in my opinion and then this is just kind of a lush area. And don't look at that over there because that's going to be part of the next episode. Because I'm not quite done with that in terms of where the wooden coaster's at. Um, but yeah, I just like to... How, and the reason why I have this as solid fencing is because just from a standpoint of protection and safety, I don't think if there's a kid's area like this that you'd want the fencing to be open and visual to where any stranger or anybody that's walking by could just watch these kids play, right? Parents want to be safe. You'd want your kids to be safe. That's just my opinion. So on this back portion, I kind of had the whole thing as this um, stucco wall, even here because you, for the backstage spot, you don't want everybody just looking through. And then as you get here, then that's where you can kind of see through and yeah, so that was that was kind of my my thought process and reasoning for that. And then here's the flat ride I created. Um, I've never really done one of these or themed one of these, and so I just decided to kind of uh, theme it using a lot of those topiary bushes that I've never ever used, and kind of had fun. Oh, the cool thing! This is a uh, this is really cool. Y'all might think I'm weird, but um, I love rotating this bush let's see so well, i guess yeah so if you just rotate it like that looks so cool how it turns so if we take that off we just woo. i wish you could actually like have it as an animation and have it rotate like that would be so cool because that just gives such like a cool effect but yeah um and so this station Nothing too fancy or crazy. Um, probably should have another beam going across, but it's all right. I'm trying to remember who I saw, but I was watching something where part of their flat ride, they kind of had the edges covered. They used these hedges to cover kind of the entryway and exitway. And so I thought, oh, that's kind of a good idea. Instead of having like a wall, your bushes are kind of the wall. Um, let's see. Man, we can still hear the pirate song. <laughs> That's crazy. So I really would love honest feedback on all this stuff. What are your thoughts? Um, did I overdo it? with this um, car ride or would you have done anything different just because like I said this is my first time making one of these so I really am trying to we can do this at times two speed um, you know I'm trying to get better at this game obviously and trying to branch out a little bit but me personally I'm happy with how it turned out All right.
right. So I don't know what I'm going to call that yet. So if you guys have a good name for um, this track ride, I would love to hear it. Also, if anybody, gosh, I'm kind of showing you what I've done over there. Um, if anybody has a name for this wooden coaster, like I said, I'm like I've told y'all before, I'm just so bad at naming naming rides. Um, really would would love to hear that. Um, yeah. So now we have this. Vacoma um, family coaster. Uh, we still got times to speed. I was like, wow, that is coming out of the station fast. <laughs> um, and so, you know, you know, I got to have a little bit of backstage stuff. So I made this area kind of all cement because with how this dipped out of the station, I had to lower the train a little bit. And then especially here, this went into the train. So I thought, okay, might as well kind of create this little dugout space that you can have a couple maintenance doors and stuff. Um, since there's no official transfer track with this ride. So let's go through the entrance. Alright, so here comes the coaster. And now I probably should have a little bit more protection here. So that your guests can't just hop the fence. Um, so I'll definitely look into that and what that would possibly be. But like I said, I, like how, I really like how this... Um, portion of it turned out with the the support i just think that looks pretty cool um it's not quite as symmetrical as the flying aerial ace but when we saw that coaster at king's island i was just like man those supports are really cool and especially for a kid's coaster too so we come along this way and then i put a little bit of fencing here because well you got the coaster going over your head and then here's the station um just kind of went crazy with the turquoise color again. Um, but I do like how it turns out, or turned out. So let's wait for the coaster to get back in the station. You know, stats aren't good. I mean, let's be realistic. It's a kid's coaster. Wasn't trying to do anything crazy with it. Now these coasters, uh, don't ride them in front bumper mode because of where the, that would put you on the track. It's just really kind of awkward. All right, so there's the coaster. Um, love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And for those of you that have stuck around, I'll give you just a little sneak peek of what the next episode will entail. And there'll probably be three more episodes before the final tour would be my guess. Um, yeah, I still got to build some stuff for this coaster, for this coaster, finish up the wooden coaster, and then any other little things around the park and as you can see the batman ride's not there and the reason is i just felt like it didn't quite fit in this park i do want to make a video though like with the pov of it and um just like a cinematic video of it but um i just felt like it didn't quite fit because it was you know just it's themed obviously batman and dc and so we've had to really theme it up and um yeah so i don't know i might put in another coaster there we'll kind of see where i'm at um or i might leave it be but that gave me an extra 5% to work with, potentially. So we'll see. You know, Maybe a launch coaster, like a launch motorbike, or the, the um, Mac spinning coaster or something would be good. Or just the Mauer spinning coaster, too, kind of more on the smaller level. But yeah, so here's the kids' area. Really, enjoy, really like how it turned out. That's a lot of space to work with. Um, but the one sneak peek that I'm going to show you is... Um, the look of our wooden coaster from the car park now and I I'm not I really love how this turned out it's 
it hides it enough, but yet you still get to see enough of the coaster to kind of get you excited. Like, especially in this area, the coaster's kind of hidden now. So you can't really see a ton. And then especially this double up and then double down. I mean, if you're down here at guest level, like the coaster, I believe, is about to come this way. So you just see the coaster. Yeah, there it is. See, we got a quick glimpse of it. Um, yeah, honestly, love how this has turned out. Um, I mean, that's cool. Cool shot right there of that first drop. And so in here, just to try to make it look a little bit more, um, like it's not too much wasted space, added a couple couple pond areas. And one thing I've started doing too is, you know, obviously lowering those bushes, but where are they? There's one of them. Um, is it one of these? Yeah, so these sycamore bushes actually look really good when you lower them. They especially learn them this way, like they look really good as kind of larger bushes to represent like the foresty area and stuff. So those are really cool. But yeah, so that's um that's the episode. Next episode will be um, about the wooden coaster and potentially more, but we'll kind of see. Um, but I thank you guys so much for always watching the video and staying up to date and giving your suggestions and feedback is that's always appreciated and thank you so much for um you know taking the time out of your day to watch this video is uh, i really appreciate it so if you enjoy the video make sure and hit that like button and if you haven't yet consider subscribing to stay up to date with the content we release at mj games and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day